back to what I was saying earlier, where the default position with regard to a claim is disbelief. Uh -huh. If the claim is God exists, the default position is to disbelieve that claim until evidence is presented to confirm that belief. Yeah. And the thing that I guess... Well, okay. it, do you, are you aware of any evidence that, that accomplishes that feat? Oh, well, the Bible, for me... Well, I, how, how, is that, how is that evidence that confirms the existence of God? You're talking about a collection of books for which we have no originals by people who we can't interview and aren't even sure who wrote most of it, and you're going to use that as an authority uh, for, for something that's <laughs> supernatural in nature? Oh, like the... Israel being taken out of Egypt and going through the desert. And exactly what and evidence is there that that story? What what evidence is there that that story is true? Well, the, the, all the places are there. Okay, uh, the places the are there, but Egypt is there. And Egypt Israel exists, is there. and we can uh -huh. say the same thing about places in Hindu scriptures. Well, but there's and, some things, of course, like that. There are definitely places and pe people that existed as they I mean, dig into history we find little bits and tidbits more yeah and but the fact that there is in Egypt somewhere doesn't mean that there were ten plagues brought on by a magical guy in the sky one thing that you're doing is is what a lot of other callers have done and call in to say oh there's just tons of evidence and what and I don't think you're doing it intentionally, so I don't mean to imply any kind of, uh, you know, evil plot on your hand. But you've bought into uh, claims of apologists that assert that these things are simply believable and that there's sufficient evidence to say so. The fact of the matter is that there is not a single contemporary of Jesus who ever wrote a single word about him that we have any information on. The earliest records all come from long after this individual was supposed to have died. Now, did he exist? Maybe. But you can't say that there's all kinds of evidence that confirms this just because Bethlehem exists or Egypt exists. Because that's just the same as saying that Spider-Man's got all kinds of evidence because New York exists. Well, who knows what's been uh, lost through history and, exactly. and that. And so. so if your answer is who knows, then why is this believable? Give any one example of any of the things that it convinced you instead of just making appeals to, right. oh, you got to look at it all together and you have to look at it. Just give me an example. Well, um... Was it uh, Nineveh? I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. And uh, it was a city that uh, Nineveh. Nineveh, yeah, and that was wiped out. It was just found recently. For a long time, people just thought it was a story, but it turns out to be a reality. And when they wrote about it being destroyed and utterly destroyed and Bible. wiped out, it. It turns out that's exactly what happened. That wasn't a prediction in the Bible, though. That yes, was, was at the right. time that they were writing about it, a current event, no, something no, that no. Was, was happening at that time. It's like if somebody wrote a, sto a fictional story that took place during the Iraq War, and years later scholars find out that the Iraq War was real, doesn't make the fictional story true. I mean, the fact that places and events actually occur don't lend any credibility to the magical stuff that's in a book. Yeah, and, and well, you know, you're talking about essentially it, it, the story it, it, of Jonah it, it, it and Nineveh. It's just one isolated thing, though. But it's it's uh, okay. Hundreds lots of things of, but, like that. And yeah, no, you're no. right. Lots of things in the Bible are writing about what were at the time current events that are accurate, but none of it lends credibility to a guy walking on water or plagues. I well, I. I uh, see what you're saying in your point there, but I think that when you make a judgment on these things, you have to use your own personal experience, your own uh, Okay, and I don't think, I don't think truth, and, and I don't think truth. It in a, a no. huge group of things that have happened over time, and uh, peoples that are there, and places that are there, you cannot say they didn't happen either. Okay, so, so using, they, they, using they your evidence, happen. using Sorry, your but, evidence, you uh, can't Using your evidence, it, your religion is indistinguishable from every other religion or claim there is. I don't think that truth is something that is based on your subjective personal hemming and hawing to say, no, oh, yeah, this feels right to me. You can find this to be logical and something that is, uh, uh, you can... Can't say it didn't happen. You can use your head to say well, it doesn't matter. It it, for and the last time, please stand, open. please. For the last time, it doesn't matter whether I can prove that it didn't happen. The okay. burden of proof is yours. And if your best appeals are to, well, these places existed. Well, who cares? Well, but how me, is that evidence that magic yeah. stuff happened? Uh, well, but it's certainly not evidence that it didn't. 
Well, and, so and like no I said, five no, ten times, the, that's the, irrelevant. The evidence that magic doesn't happen is all the other stuff. I mean, you know, all the years that there's been no verifiable magic stuff happening, all the million-dollar offers, all the scientific experiments, I, I mean, you know, it comes down to the fact that every bit of evidence there is does not point to magic stuff happening. So when one guy 2,000 years ago in a in a ancient deceased superstitious culture writes that there was some guy raising, rising from the dead, if it wasn't Jesus, your default would be not to believe them. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, no. So you would, so if I just told you I have a friend who rose from the dead last week, would you believe me? Oh, uh, if, if you just told me you had a friend that wrote from the dead last week? Yeah. Well, um, I would uh, question that. Uh, Why? Why? Because Russell's somebody you can meet, talk to. This is a current event that I'm you can real? actually investigate. <laughs> yeah. And yet you're saying that what you find in an old book uh -huh. where we have no original copies, you have no idea well, who the authors like, are, you, you have like no idea exactly when they're anything. written. Let me finish. I mean, you have no idea of evidence. any of this stuff. A, a, you have no idea uh, of any of this information. And this old book that you cannot confirm, cannot investigate, which makes outlandish claims, that alone is sufficient for you to believe in magic. And yet you'd question Russell? Why? It's not magic, it's spirit beings. But, uh, it's ma oh, spirit beings. Uh, what, that's not magic? Uh, you could you mm -hmm. can use that expression, but okay. I don't look at it that way. I, I, uh, there's there actually we we got full calls and we've hammered okay. this. I'm going to let you go, Stan. You can call back some other time. But you know it's frustrating when you ask people why they believe something. If you just say I believe it just because I I can't I can't even explain why I believe it. I have no good reason because in reality you don't have a good reason. If you say oh I need to con you need to consider all of this and look at all the things in history and the f revealed prophecy, that's a bunch of crap. What you've got is an old book by unknown people of unknown origin, unknown dates, none of it's confirmable. There's no contemporary evidence outside that book that corroborates any of it. And this is enough for you to believe that magic happens, that, that supernatural things happen, that some guy can walk on water, raise the dead. Um, sorry, I mean, if, if that is the level of, of uh, acceptable evidence for you, uh, then I don't know why you don't believe everything. Why don't you believe that people have been abducted by aliens? Why don't you believe in Bigfoot? I mean, there's better evidence for either of those than that magic man created the world and then suicided. I mean, I, 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 it's just baffling to me about how many times I can say, it doesn't, we're not here to disprove it. The burden of proof is on you. When we give you opportunity, opportunity after opportunity to prevent any single shred of evidence, and the best you've got is place names, uh, I don't know what else to say. Right. I, you know, I, gullible comes to call, mind, but... In spite of that call getting heated, though, you know, we're not mad at Stan. No, it's, it's a matter of frustration. I actually like Stan. We've talked before, and I'm sure we'll talk again. I, and, and, and the show couldn't happen without callers like Stan. And I realize that, that, that my comments uh, from Stan's point of view are somewhat insulting, although Stan's such a nice guy that he doesn't normally get bothered by it. Right. There's just some disagreement there. But the fact of the matter is... Um, you, it, neither Stan nor anybody else who's called in like that has presented us with anything um, that distinguishes their justification for, for their beliefs from justification in any other beliefs. Yeah. There's I think, no reason I to think, think you're any less we gullible. this topic, we ought to put Lynn on real quick. We've only got a few minutes left, and she's got, I think, a good point to make. Okay. Lynn, you on? Hello, yes. How Hi. you doing? Hi. Hi. I'm just calling to help give a current vision to stand as to the point you're trying to make. Thank you. Which is specifically, look at Titanic the movie. It is a historical fiction. Mm -hmm. We know the Titanic happened. There was a boat named that. It did sink. We have good records of that. The way, yes, countries did exist in the past were wars that lived during certain time periods. We have proof of that. Yet, the story we see in Titanic the movie, that is not a real story. There's right. those people or that love affair or the big blue stone.